I apologize for how annoying I will sound in this video. I've lived in Kansas for my entire life of almost 23 years, and I had yet to see one. Unfortunately, the tornado was rain wrapped by the time I began recording, so you'll have to look closely in the video to see the outline of the tornado as it passes by south of Chapman. I'd like to thank the Chapman Fire Department and Emergency Management for allowing me to film from their garage when the rain and hail got heavy. If you continue to watch the video, I'll have a time lapse at the end of all my footage, so it might be easier to see some of the uh, events unfolding. Thanks again for watching. McFarland over in Wabunsee County, and it's looking uh, right now. Time looking, to go storm know, chasing. Mile up, uh, when, it, when there's been officials reporting that we have a home destroyed uh, five miles northwest of Abilene, that would put it relatively close to the Talmadge area. Uh, so we are now getting significant damage reports from this. As, uh, this there's a wall cloud right up there. Stay tuned. Stay in the Abilene and now northeast of Abilene as well. We're going to keep you posted as this storm continues to move across the area. Very frequent updates here for you. I see the funnel. I cannot believe I'm seeing this. I've waited so many years. So many years. Man. All right, guys, I'm out front. Dollar General in Chapman, Kansas. The date is May 25th, 2016. Large tornado on the ground, just west of Chapman, Kansas. We're moving. Hey guys, did you see the tornado? There's a tornado right there. This way.
What is he trying to go in? I think it's rain wrapped. I think that's what that is right there. What? I think that's a tornado. I think it's rain wrapped. No, no, they said it was rain wrapped earlier. See the inflow. Take a look at those clouds. Time to head back, see if I can't catch up with the tornado. Alright, 
this show. Uh, parade awarding uh, will uh, remain in effect for the next uh, 12 minutes. 12 minutes. Here, as of about five minutes ago, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located uh, six miles. So it's about, I would say, probably about five miles right now. Uh, southwest of Junction City, moving east at 25 miles per hour. That, that changes your perspective a little bit. On an average day, we'd be looking at this storm and, and saying, wow, that is, that is a nasty and impressive and, and dangerous thunderstorm, and it certainly is. Uh, but compared to what it was a half hour ago, uh, it's come down uh, quite a bit in terms of intensity. Uh, just looking at a new radar picture now, just looking at the, uh, the Doppler wind fields here to see whether we still have rotation with this. Yeah, we do still have what uh, could be a tornado signature here southeast of Junction City now. It's put it about four and a half miles southeast of town. Well, we have mentioned uh, that this overall rotation.